India's Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has banned PUBG Mobile, a popular mobile version of PUBG video game. The original PC video game was developed by a South Korean company and remains active in India, but the mobile version, which was developed and marketed by the Chinese tech giant Tencent, has been banned by the Indian government now. The press release by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology read, the compilation of these data, its mining and profiling by elements hostile to national security and defense of India, which ultimately impinges upon the sovereignty and integrity of India, is a matter of very deep and immediate concern which requires emergency measures. India's PUBG ban comes after the US had banned WeChat, leading to huge losses to Tencent. Earlier, US President signed an executive order effectively banning WeChat in 45 days. This was the second biggest move taken by Donald Trump apart from the TikTok ban. For Tencent, this is a double whammy which will be hard to recover from. For India, this is the third successive ban on Chinese apps over concerns of national security. The first ban was imposed on June 29th when popular video app TikTok along with 58 others were banned and on 27th July, 47 clones of these apps were banned. This time, the government has banned PUBG along with 117 other apps. India was the largest market for PUBG with over 170 million downloads and accounted for 24% of its global market share. Out of a total of 224 Chinese apps banned so far, most of them were from Tencent and the most popular ones except TikTok were also from the same company. With the Modi government's aggressive stance against Chinese intrusions at the border, Tencent has lost its second largest market which resulted in billions of dollars of loss in its market value in less than a week. The company lost 34 billion US dollars in the market capitalization just a day after India banned 118 Chinese apps, including PUBG. Amid the India-China border tensions, two Chinese companies hurt the most are Huawei and Tencent. The apps banned by India had been developed by Chinese tech giants such as Tencent, Alibaba, Xiaomi and ByteDance all of which are among the top 10 Chinese tech companies by revenue and market capitalization. Most of these companies are directly or indirectly related to the Chinese Communist Party, as every company management has Communist Party members on the board. Huawei's chief is People's Liberation Army veteran and an influential party member. Tencent chief was delegate at the 12th Party Congress and Alibaba founder Jack Ma, on the other hand, has also been very active in supporting the party. Many companies such as Tencent and TikTok's founders had been delegates at the previous party congress and have been actively involved in policy making. Therefore, any loss to these companies is not just a loss to a company or country's economy but to the Chinese Communist Party itself. Many companies are losing business across the world due to Xi Jinping's expansionist agenda. Many companies such as Huawei, ZTE are at the brink of collapse with the ban in countries around the world. The United States, the largest market of Chinese companies in terms of revenue, already has a very China-hostile government and Xi Jinping's policies have irritated the Modi government in India too. And therefore, Chinese companies are losing their largest market in terms of the user base. With the Chinese companies losing India as well as the United States, the largest markets in terms of revenue and user base respectively, Xi Jinping's hold over the throne will only get weakened. And in the next few days, the attempt to remove Xi Jinping from the position of the paramount leader of the country will be accelerated. Therefore, the aggression at the line of actual control with India will cost Xi Jinping personally.